Hi everybody. Well, it's uh, one of our early morning starts. Not as early as sometimes in summer, because <laughs> it's it'd still be dark then. But uh, we've decided to set off a little bit earlier today. And if all goes to plan, we'll end up at the top of the uh, staircase locks at Grinley Brook. So that means 10 locks today. Uh, all with quite a, a few varying weirs. Some of them incredibly, uh, they're incredibly fierce. Uh, but uh, really looking forward to it. And uh, I think we'll, uh, well, what you call, get going. All systems go. Right, away we go. So, uh, we just go leave our moorings. But, uh, Bernadette's at the bottom there, ready to do her uh, chores today. She's another morning. Wide awake? Yes. Wide awake, good. That's what we need to be. <laughs> right, let's get uh, let's get off then. Well the air base here has got a few boats in yet, you know, they're not all out. Uh, and no doubt as we go round this corner up here, I bet there's some more there because they do tend to uh, leave some of the boats around the corner rather than in the little basin here. Um, but we'll see. Well Bernadette's setting up this road bridge now, well uh, lift bridge. Uh, she has to shut it, shut the road down and then it's all like an electronic bridge what has to go up and then we get through and hopefully the uh, if there's any cars, they're not too impatient. But we do get a few. You know, we've we've uh, you know we've been through here a few times, and we've uh, we've had them tapping the horn and that. But uh, I think that's because you're on the roadways, as they say. <laughs> Patience is a lot less. <laughs> right, we better get going. Bridge going up. up here, just up on the side here, yeah. Down. Yeah, it's just like I thought. Um, some of the higher boats are on the side here. Uh, just uh, leave them along the side, and people uh, can pick them up here. Just save blocking all that base, and at the bottom, what you saw previously. Now in a, in a, in the higher seasons and such, these won't be here, they'd all be gone by now. Uh, because the, the higher fleets in peak season, are just very, very busy on the Clangoslin. And relatively busy at other times. Now at some point, uh, and I've rapidly got to that conclusion now, I'll explain a few, a few things um, about the boats on this canal and uh, the impact of the breach uh, because they're not it's a little bit different with the Clan uh, they're not trapped as such because of how the boats on here 
the higher fleets in particular. But I'll talk about that at a later date. You know, you're very lucky. A lot of canals, you know, you can, they're a bit hit and miss view wise and all that, but we're quite lucky in, you know, in this area in, in Cheshire and, and Wales and that. Some of the fantastic scenery, particularly as it all comes alive again. Yeah, we never tire, we never tire of things like this. You know, it's, we just, we just love it. You know, you get away, you know, you can get away, no cars, no traffic, no roads. What can be better? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Well, the dawn chorus is certainly out. <laughs> Lovely. The other thing about uh, on this particular canal is the amount of uh, lift bridges there is. Uh, there's quite a few. Um, I think it's tomorrow we'll be doing uh, doing quite a few then. But uh, this one's normally always up. And in fact, I can't remember when I last saw it down this one. tired of it at the bottom uh, two foot six when you come on and it also uh, when you get further up which obviously we are trying the diversion onto the Monte but further up it says two foot three black sheep of the family <laughs> You, this, what you what you've got to look at with with this canal is you, if you want, don't want to if it, you don't want it too busy, 
just come at the right times of the season, you know. Um, and you, you, you'll be all right. It's no, good, it's no good saying you'll come in winter or anything like that because because of the heavy use, you'll definitely, definitely have closures on. So there's not much, you know, there's not much tap thing then. So you're as well coming late, late autumn, or late May, uh, late March, early April if you want it quiet. But if you have to, do, if you want to do what we've done for years, uh, you just come when you feel like and uh, join in with the fun. Because it's it can be. Uh, very very enjoyable you talk to loads of people and you've always got help at the locks and that as well and after all that's what a what canal life's like it's not isolation it's about enjoying yourself with other people as well if possible this is Murray lock now again because I know I know looking at uh, at YouTube, loads of people do actually search on this particular canal, the Langoslin Canal, because of its holiday side of thing. Now, this is another place where nearby there's a, a little village called Merbury. Well, it's, a, it's about a quarter an hour, 20 minute walk. Uh, and the pub's been refurbished and by the time anybody else comes on it'll be open the pub there and there's some terrific views now when we get through the lock I'll just show you the nice moorings where you can stay and you can have a walk down there but so many people miss it as they go up this canal so I'll explain you a bit more when we uh, we're at the top now when you're coming into Mary Lock, um, the other thing as well, it's got quite a little deceiving underflow, the water from the uh, from the weir on the right, so it can catch you if you're not used to it. Um, it's, it just seems to be more under the water where it is this and you don't see it. And if you're not aware of it, it can take your boat over to the left quite quickly. at all. I think the camera just fits under the bridge. <laughs> And a lovely little uh, lock-sized coffee as well here. So this road here, what you can see, and I'll show you the moorings in a minute. Well that's one road into Marbury. You can just walk down there, walk back from your moorings, up the road and down to Marbury and then I'll show you the other one in a minute. So if you're coming up the Clangoslin, it's after Merbury Lock, or if you're coming back down, it's before Merbury Lock, and you can moor up some decent enough moorings on the right here, uh, and like I say, you've got your choice then to either walk to the bridge around the corner, or walk down the road where the lock is. And the village is just over there. It's only a small one, but uh, if you go to the churchyard and walk round the side in the back there, I won't say what, but you've got a lovely surprise as well, some terrific views. Absolutely beautiful. We've known this boat 
and the guy on board, and I don't know his name, but we've talked to him so much. We've, oh, so many years, so many years. And in fact, it's frightening to think it's, I think, well over 20 years. we use when we're walking into Marbury so you can walk like I said there's loads of moorings up and down nearby to this bridge and it's bridge 24 so if you're mooring up close to or nearby to it and then you get over the bridge walk down the road into the lovely village of Marbury try to film the by wash as we're going in and I'll keep the camera rolling as well so uh, we should uh, be able to get both 
but I'll again will be aiming for the opposite wall. So off we go and let's see what happens. No talking now, it's concentration time. they can deteriorate so quick you know so 41 years we've been voting now yeah 41 yeah terrible isn't it terrible. how old are you now my mum's 80 wait a minute dad's how's mum 28 so you're eight years old than your mum Get better get going. Well, we'll get Hello. <laughs> That's what you do along the canal. So we'll see you on the way back. Okay, yes, we will. See you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. 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 Okay, we'll yeah. see you. Hopefully we'll see you on the way down. Okay. Alright. Terra. Right. 